and we start this classic Christmas recipe with a pestle and mortar. Throw in about a teaspoon of your whole cloves and we need to pulverise our cloves until they're ground fairly coarse. And then we need to empty the coarse clove powder into a small bowl or a ramekin until we need it. Pop your clove powder to one side and next we need to take a good saucepan and we need to start by gently heating our milk. Pour in your full fat milk and to the milk we add equal amounts of our clove powder and cinnamon powder. And also grate in about the same amount of a whole nutmeg. Very slowly and gently heat the milk on a medium heat to infuse it with our beautiful Christmas spice mix. And after a few minutes, once it comes up to a very gentle simmer, pour in some double cream. We also want to add a very small pinch of sea salt. You won't taste the salt, but it does make all the difference. Give that a mix and a stir, swirl it around in the saucepan and leave it on a very, very gentle heat while we prepare our eggs. So take a large mixing bowl and we want to spend a few minutes separating out the beautiful yellow yolks from our lovely free range eggs. And now we want to add some sugar for about five or six egg yolks, four or five teaspoons of sugar. And we want to give this a really good whisk till it beautifully thickens up. We want it about the consistency of double cream. And now we want to slowly incorporate the milk into the egg mixture while we vigorously whisk. So whisk away and slowly ladle in our lovely spice infused milk. Keep whisking and once it's all mixed together we want to pour it back into the saucepan and on a very very low heat we need to keep stirring the mixture until it beautifully thickens up. And after a few minutes once the mixture becomes beautiful and thick a couple of teaspoons of our vanilla extract. Also one or two shots of lovely brandy and finish with a shot or two of Irish whiskey. At this point we want to strain our eggnog mixture through a sieve to make sure it's beautifully silky and smooth. After you've done this leave your eggnog mixture in a fridge for a couple of hours for it to cool down and once it's cool it's ready to go. Just pour your mixture into a glass and I like to finish my eggnog with a little grating of some fresh nutmeg. This eggnog is a real delicious Christmas treat and well worth the effort guys. You will not be disappointed with this one. 